Mothers in the house. Happy Mother's Day. And today, don't greet any other person who is not a mother. Please just look around, turn to somebody who is a mother and celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Go to the mother and celebrate that mother. Wish them a happy Mother's Day. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Reach out to mother, reach out to mother. Even the mothers online, we wish you a, a happy Mother's Day. And you're most welcome to Kawempe Worship Center. Where we worship the living God. Amen. Amina. Amen. Amina. Amen. Can we set together our slogan this morning? When we are still standing, I belong to this house. I am a living stone. In this house, I'm growing. Tuchidemu Muruganda Fena, Iwa Munyumbe no, Nijinja Damu, Munyumbe no, Kula, Mukama Eva Zibwe. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of you are growing in this house? Hallelujah. Put your hands together. And thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, at this moment, as we take our seats, let me just invite the mothers. Please come. Come. Mothers, please come. Yes, the mothers, please come and give us something on this special day. Clap for them, clap for them. Hallelujah. 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 We thank the Lord so much for this day. The day of the mothers. We are going to sing one song. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Ulira amalobozi ham ham amaloboza amalunzi ham ham ah getulimbira muchibuga echija eteri banandwate kukaba kusinda kulumwanga bikomye Tunia wamuna ye Pena banunule Ngatukumba ne ya tuwangu nilo kufa Ha 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 Teni mayo mabanja Kuliba kuimba kuoka Kukawa kusinda kulumwanga vikumye Polo fe Tunia wamuna ye Pena banunule Tukumba ne ya tuwangu nilo kufa Ha 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 Teni mayo mabanja Kuliba kuimba kuoka Kukawa kusinda kulumwanga mikumye
Tulitambulira Mungudo za zapu Mubyambalo ebyeru Obude wayo tebuziba Omusana wayo ye yesu Enakuzona Tulitambulira Mungudo za zapu Mubyambalo ebyeru Obude wayo tebuziba Omusana wayo ye yesu Enakuzona Tulilia wamuna ye Penaba nunule Nga tukumbale ya tuwanguliro kufa Ha 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 Teriba yo mabanja Kuliba kuimba kuoka Kukaba kusinda kulumwa Gabi kumye We balibuza Tibe banyabo Yesu na batambu Beba bayoza Ibyambalo mumusa igwange Yesu na batambu Bebo na bayoza Ibyambalo mumusa igwange We balibuza Tibe banyabo Yesu na batambu Beba bayoza Ibyambalo mumusa igwange Yesu na batambu Bebo na bayoza Ibyambalo mumusa igwange Tulinia wamuna ye Penaba nunule Nga tukumbane ya tuwanguliro kufa Ha 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 Teri bayo mabanja Kuliba kuimba kuoka Kukaba kusinda kulumwa Gabi kumye Kolo fe Tulinia wamuna ye Penaba nunule Nga tukumbane ya tuwanguliro kufa Kuliba kuimba kuoka Kukaba kusinda kulumwa Gabi kumye Ulira ama nobozi Ham, ham Ama noboza ama lunji Ham, ham Au Hallelujah Amen let us clap for them. Amen. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank God for the mothers. If it went for the mothers, we would have been here, all of us. Anyone that would have existed without a mother. Amen. So mothers are great people. But the fathers are great as well. Amen. 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 Every day, we have a daily altar here at this place. It starts at 5 p.m. It starts at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Let us all be part of this. If you, never, if you have never come for this altar, we encourage you, please get time and come to the altar so that we can pray together. Every Friday, as the young people, we have our overnights here. Youths, are you there? Praise the name of the Lord. Youths, on Friday, we're always here. Let us be here, praise the name of the Lord, as and every Sunday, after this second service, we have a youth service. But uh, just like today, but today, 
in a different way. We, you are not going to have your service. You have a singles meaning. Single adults. Young adults. Young adults, right? Young adults. Young. Young life. Ah. They are now called the young so life. So next time when we call young life, please don't say, I, I'm, I don't belong there. Young you are the long life. Hallelujah. So when we call the young life, don't say you don't know. So you to to go. After this second service, you're going to have your meeting. You don't need to miss this. You don't need to miss. And today, uh, tomorrow Monday, those people who want to be well financially we started our meeting every we are here in this place praying speaking different things that will help us and we are going to to become filthy rich we to become filthy rich Better so be here tomorrow. Tutandika sawa kuminem, right? We'll start off at five. Usumba taka. Tutandika sawa kuminem. Encha. Kuminem. We'll start off at five tomorrow. Amen. Amen. So tetusubwa. Let us not miss. Iranga kusande esemba yonga biri mukaga. On the last Sunday on the twenty-six. Tujakuba no kubatiza. We shall have baptism. No kuwaya bana. And uh, dedication of the children. So if you reject Sunday, Sunday the last Sunday in this month, it shall be 26th. Please be a part of this and dedicate And those that will be baptized will be baptized. Starting 22nd up to 26th, we have our revival week. Amen. Because the other side of club, let us hear from Amen. the Amen. Amen. Revival week is Our revival week starts on 22nd. Up to the 26th. So to be let us all be part of this. We will have a uh, good time in the presence of the Lord no in prayer and hearing, the the word. Word. and hearing from God. On the 25th, men are having their breakfast meeting standing at 9 a.m. Up to 11 a.m. So, Abasadia Fena to all men, the Tusuanga Birimutan. We're encouraged to be part of this on a day. Iranga Birimutano, again on the 25th, Abafumbaba to Young Marit, to gain a cover and a family outreach. We're going to have a family outreach. Let us not forget. Let us gather together. The Sovorok Genda to reaching out to other people. So that we can be able to reach out to other people. Iranga Birimukaga on the 26th, marriage unveiled. Marriage unveiled. We shall have our marriage evening tea. Amina. Amina. Abafumbo. The marriage. You know how that is. This so, is just a reminder for us. Let us all be there. If and we are and there. And I assure you, we are not joining our own group to just to play around. If you come the first time, come you this again. The Lord bless you. Let us stand up. Let's stand on our feet. Stand on our feet. To take a cab away, we are going to be coming. We are going to be coming. Ushers, please. If you need an envelope, raise up your hand. So the ushers will locate you and give you that envelope. So that you prepare your tithe and your offer. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, we, 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 we,
glorify you. Thank you for the tithes and offerings and for the construction that we are bringing before you. We pray, Lord of Lords, just as you come to us, that you bring a blessing upon us. This morning, Lord, I pray upon us. In our finances, Lord of Lords, in our in our jobs in everything that we do Lord of Lord of Lord so that we can continue to bring in our so that there will be so that there will be things so that there will be things because you are faithful and he has your word to perform this morning may you bless someone a blessing of money a blessing of wealth Blessing of application. Blessing of increase. Blessing of expansion. King of kings, let it be done. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Would you please bring in the house of the Lord? Bring in your tithes and offerings. Our online church. We have the giving platforms where we give mobile money airtel mobile money airtel merchant codes equity bank or equity bank absa absa nabulichimu Uh, if you're following on Mixelar, Mixelar and you can't see this giving banner, you can also see this giving banner. You can also see this giving banner. Using your number 0777, you can use this line 0777 56 55 61. We repeat. Zero musamvu 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 triple seven atano mu mukaga fifty six atano mu tano fifty five mukaga mu m sixty one amina amen mukama ba wenyo mukisa God bless you hallelujah amen ngatu cha imiri double gana as we still standing. Let's join our hands together. And welcome Pastor Makrigeo to come and bless us. Bring the word of God today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord. Jesus is in this place. Yes, Amen. And Jesus is not our uncle. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This is the creator of the heavens and the earth. The Bible says he has been given a name that is above all names. At the mention of his name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. 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 He is Lord in your family. He is Lord in your marriage. He is Lord at your workplace. He is Lord. Even in the church. He is Lord. 
He is Lord. Ye mukama. He is Lord. Ye mukama. We want to declare the Lordship of Jesus. Sickness is not Lord over your life. Witchcraft will never be Lord over your life. Poverty will never be Lord over your life. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Yes, we mukama. Jesus is Lord. Yes, we mukama. Jesus is Lord. Yes, we mukama. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You know through words atmospheres can change David prayed and said may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you when you read the message version the bible says may the words that I bring on your altar O God of my altar the Lord of my altar the rock of my altar may the words that I bring on your altar may they be acceptable when they are acceptable the Lord descends down his glory fills the place the Bible says let us now offer a sacrifice of praise which is the fruit of our lips whenever we gather as we have gathered everybody is coming with a sacrifice on the altar and that is the fruit of your lips whenever you want worship God from a pure heart atmosphere changes the Lord descends and when he descends he comes as a king he comes as the Lord he comes as the king of kings he comes to deliver he comes to heal he comes to set the captives free why don't you open your mouth bring the words on your altar let them be a sacrifice of praise begin to tell him Jesus you are Lord you are Lord over this situation you are Lord over this sickness you are Lord in my marriage you are Lord you are Lord you are Lord, you are Lord. You are Lord. is somebody praying begin to exalt him begin to give him the praise begin to give him the praise he is Lord I tell you Jesus is Lord Jesus is Lord your situation is small your problem is small that sickness is small witchcraft is small sorcerers are small Jesus is Lord Jesus is Lord come on somebody exalt his name exalt his name above that problem above that situation exalt his name he has been given a name that is above 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 all names he has been given a name the name of Jesus the name of Jesus the name of Jesus Jesus is Lord Jesus is Lord come on declare his Lordship declare his Lordship declare his Lordship I don't know which sickness that you are struggling with I don't know which problem but see Jesus as Lord come on somebody see Jesus as Lord as Lord seated on his throne 
He seated on his throne. He seated on his throne. Come on, somebody pray, pray, pray. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Ye Mukama. Yes, we are Mukama. Jesus is Lord. Yes, we are Mukama. Yes, we are Mukama. Yes, we are Mukama. Yes, we are Mukama. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. He's Lord in Kawempe. He's Lord in Kawempe. He's Lord in Kawempe. He's Lord in Kawempe. He is Lord. He's the King. He is Lord. He reigns in our gathering today. He reigns. He reigns. Somebody pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Saba, saba. I can't hear you. Sekuira. I can't hear you. Sekuira. The Bible says, let all who seek him rejoice and be glad in him. Moye. Let all who fear him say continually, the Lord be magnified. The Lord be magnified. The Lord be magnified. The Lord be magnified. Above that sickness, the Lord be magnified. Above witchcraft, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, magnify the Lord, magnify the Lord, magnify the Lord, don't be quiet, church, magnify the Lord, let the atmosphere change, let the atmosphere change, let the atmosphere change. The Bible says He dwells in the praises of His people. He dwells in the praises of his people. Somebody pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Come on, church. Pray, pray. Pray, pray. Exalt his name. Exalt his name. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. 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 We exalt your name. We exalt your name. Oh Jesus. We exalt your name. Above witchcraft. Above sorcery. Above the kingdom of darkness. We exalt your name. Right now. Above every altar. Every demonic altar. Every Counselor of the wicked, we exalt your name above enchanters, we exalt your name above religious spirits, we exalt your name above altars of homosexuality, altars of lesbianism, we exalt your name, Jesus, you are Lord, Jesus, you are Lord, Jesus, you are Lord, you are Lord. In Kawepe. You are Lord in Kawepe. You are Lord in Kawepe. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You have conquered death. You have conquered death. You have conquered death. Death could not hold you. Death could not hold you. Death could not hold you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. You have won the victory. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus is victorious. He is victorious. He is victorious. He is victorious. He is victorious. Somebody pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Exalt his name. 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 I told you in the morning that you have power. You have authority. You are a king. You are a king. Empowered by the Holy Ghost. You are a king empowered by the Holy Ghost. What you find on earth shall be 
bound in heaven what you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven because your words are backed by power your words are backed by power you are not a weakling do not fear do not fear do not fear the bible says he has given you authority to trample on snakes to trample on scorpions somebody pray 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 exalt his name exalt his name exalt his name as you are praying you are coming out of that problem your family is coming out of that prison you are coming out as you exalt his name Jesus Jesus be thou exalted Jesus be thou exalted be thou exalted be thou exalted in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every demonic power lose your hold lose your hold lose your hold every demonic power we rise against you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every power every power every power of the devil every power of altars of witchcraft we rise against you come on somebody pray 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 against altars in Kawempe begin to approach begin to approach altars in Kawempe altars in Kawempe altars in Kawempe altars of divorce altars of divorce altars of divorce altars of sicknesses altars of death come on somebody begin to approach begin to destroy begin to approach somebody pray 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 you can do better than that pray 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 come on church God is doing something God is doing something be a part of what God is doing don't be weary don't be tired clap your hands and pray clap your hands and pray clap your hands and pray destroy every altar destroy every altar from their foundations destroy every altar you have the power you have the authority God has empowered you God has empowered you destroy every altar against the church every altar against the church every altar against families every altar against the lives of our children rise and destroy rise and destroy clap those hands declare I destroy I uproot I destroy I uproot I destroy I uproot every demonic altar demonic altars demonic altars planted in Kawempe be uprooted be uprooted be uprooted come on we are about to get there more prayer more prayer we are about to get there don't give up don't give up for some of you as you are praying you are being delivered as you are praying you are being delivered chains are breaking chains are breaking chains are breaking chains are breaking in the name of Jesus 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 come on come on pray 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 you are a soldier in the army you are a soldier in the army you have been anointed for such a time as this you have been empowered you have been empowered somebody pray somebody pray as you are praying God is working as you are praying God is working as you are praying God is working uproot every altar uproot every altar uproot every altar every altar fighting the advancement of the church every altar fighting your advancement every altar fighting the advancement of the church we uproot we uproot we uprooted 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 be uprooted. Be uprooted. Pray, 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 pray. 
Reba kanda laba. Oh shenda laba riba kanda. Lebra konda laba yanda. Rekanda ganda. Lebra zonta raba kanda. Le kayando raba kanda. Le shan reba kanda. Le baraba kanda laba. Le bayando raba kanda. In the name of Jesus. Every altar. Every altar. Planted in Kawente. Every altar. Established in Kawente. As the body of Christ. We rise in unity. We rise in unity. We uproot every altar. We uproot every altar. We uproot every altar. We uproot every altar. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now clap your hands. Stamp your feet. Say I destroy. I destroy every demonic altar from their foundation. I destroy. I destroy. I destroy. Clap those hands very well. Stamp your feet. Clap your hands. We are in battle. I destroy. I destroy every altar. Demonic altars. Demonic altars. Altars of witchcraft. Altars of enchanters. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. Altars in Kampala. Altars in Uganda. As the body of Christ, we rise in power. We rise in unison. We rise in power. We rise in unison. We bind. We bind. We bind. We bind. We destroy every altar propagating darkness. Every altar in the name of Jesus. 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 Now as a sign of victory. Clap your hands and shout. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. One more time shout hallelujah. Clap your hands as you shout. One more time shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time shout 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 hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Give your neighbor a high five. Tell them God is in charge. Okay, that neighbor has an attitude. Go to another one. Tell them God is in charge. Why don't you go to seven neighbors and tell them God is in charge? Sickness is not in charge. Witchcraft is not in charge. God is in charge. God is in charge. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we thank you. You are gracious and you are kind. Thank you for gathering us together. This is the gathering of kings. We thank you because you have come to download your mind. We have come to get empowered. So that we may advance your kingdom. We pray that you open our eyes. We pray that you make our hearts fertile to receive your word. Holy Spirit, breathe upon your word. The letter kills but the spirit gives life. I pray, Father, may the words that we speak be spirit and life. And may our lives never be the same again. Be glorified. Be exalted. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. One more time, shout hallelujah. 
Amen. Amen. Wow, you may take your seat majestically. You're in the house of your father. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First of all, I would like to thank all my pastors for giving me this opportunity. Especially Pastor Robert and Mama Robina who have traveled. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Then I would like to wish my beloved wife a happy Mother's Day. In the top 100 best moms in the world, she's number one. I'm the judge, so... <laughs> Don't ask who voted. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. The heavens have declared, I've also declared as the judge. Number Emu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'd like to say boldly, marriage is a good thing. And as Kawempe Worship Center, we stand for godly marriages. We don't stand for a foolish man marrying another foolish man. That's elsewhere. Yeah, you have to be a musiru siru for you to marry another fellow man. As Kawempe, worship center, we don't stand for that. We stand for godly marriages. A man and a woman coming together in holy matrimony. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, in case you are asking about that, you've just heard it, you're in the safest place. And in case you came with your boyfriend and your girlfriend and you think we'll join you together, you are a boy, you came with your boyfriend and you are a girl, you came and slowly you sneaked in the church and said, ah, Bano, they are, they are gracious. They are gracious. The, the first thing will pray for you. Cancel you. Because we believe God can deliver you. But if you insist on it then this may not be the best place. Their testimony is God has delivered many. But that is what is called by the way. Let's get straight to the word of God. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6, in the year that King Uzziah died, verse 1, Isaiah saw the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord. Sitting upon a throne. High and lifted up. And his train filled the temple. Wow. <laughs> he didn't see the Lord intimidated. He didn't see the Lord shaking. He saw the Lord seated on the throne. Relaxed. Because he's the king. Anytime you have a vision where you see a throne and you see the Lord seated looking fearful or shaking that is not the Lord it's the dog, the devil 
Oyo ya mukama wa sitani. Praise the Lord. He is bold. <laughs> Seated on his throne. Not shaking. Everything under control. <laughs> I saw the Lord seated. On the throne. Wow. And he was high and lifted up. Can you imagine that scenario? He's not just seated, but he is high and lifted up. And his train filled the temple. Verse 2. I'm just telling you who your God is. <laughs> Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With the twain he covered his face. And with the twain he covered his feet. And with the twain he did fly. Verse 3. And one cried unto another. And said. Holy, holy. Holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Wow. Verse 4. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Isaiah said, I saw the Lord seated on the throne. Why is he seated on the throne? Because he is king. He is king. Ye kabaka. He is king. Your God, Katonda wo, my God, Katonda wange, is king. Ye kabaka. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amina. So other gods, they have eyes, but they don't see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have mouth, but they can't speak. Our God is alive. He's seated on his throne. He is ruling and reigning. You cannot be defeated when God is seated on the throne reigning. God is king. The king of kings. The lord of lords. Everything about God is power. Everything about God is dominion. You can be a child of God. God, and you walk intimidated. You can't be a child of God. And you walk in fear. You need to be bold. That's why when the Holy Ghost came upon them, one of the things they, they got, or they became bold, that is the nature of our Father. The Bible says the righteous are as bold as a lion. But the wicked run when even nobody is chasing them. The righteous are as bold because God is bold seated on the throne not moved by anything ruling and reigning that is my God that is your God that is my God that is your God if God be for us who can be against us hallelujah greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world thanks be to God who leads us all into triumph not war wanguzi it is a victory God is king king of kings lord of lords Get it in your mind. Your God will never be defeated. Everybody say, My God. My God is King. Praise the Lord. You are not convinced? First Timothy chapter 1, verse 17. 
Kumina musambu. Timoseo echi choka kume. Timoseo echi choka. Okay, first Timothy chapter 1 verse 17. Timoseo echi choka. Timoseo echicho. Ah, okay. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 17. Timoseo echicho ka emu kumina musambu. Banange, nawe. Are we there? Kutuseo. Now unto the king eternal. Era kabaka owe mirembe. Immortal. Ne mirembe tagwa wo. Invisible. Talabika. The only wise God. Katonda omu. Honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Awe wenga etendo ne chitiwa. E mirembe ne mirembe. Amina. Praise the Lord. Nukama yeba zibwe. Hallelujah. Amina. I want us to declare that scripture. Njaka latulangirile chawa ndikibwecho. Three times. And we are declaring it upon Kawempe and the atmosphere. And every other God with small g. Praise the Lord. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 17. One thing you need to know is you are not ordinary. Number two. Your words are anointed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amina. Whenever you speak, there is something which happens. That's why when you are told to speak, yes, at times you feel as though your mouth has kilograms of weight. Because the devil knows when pastor Taka opens his mouth and his wife Nalongo, when they open their mouth and they begin to speak, <laughs> All hell goes bazak. Praise the Lord. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. So never keep quiet. Katino to Sirikanga Gomana Wakatonda. Are you ready to declare? First Timothy chapter 1, verse 17. One, two, three, go. Now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible. The only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. One more time. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. One more time. Last time. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible the only wise god be honor and glory forever and ever amen clap for jesus amen era kabaka owe mirembe ne mirembe atagwa wo atalabika katondomu awe wenga etendo nechitibwa emirembe ne mirembe amina amina praise the lord hallelujah amina hallelujah our God is the eternal king. Unchangeable. No term limits with God. No term limits. Eternal king. Whether you like him or not. Whether you like it or not. He is king eternal. The devil never liked that. He wanted to overthrow him. But even before he tried, the Bible was said iniquity was found in you. And Jesus said, I saw the devil cast down. You don't mess with God. He is the eternal king. Eternal king. King. Praise the Lord. One more Psalms 47, 2 to 3. Psalms chapter 47, verse 2 to 3. Computer man. Amen. For the Lord most high is terrible. Wow. Kubanga Mukama Aliwa Guru Nyawan Tisa. He is a great king. 
over all the earth he shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet did you hear that he is a great king over all the earth he will subdue you, the people under us and the nations under our feet we serve a great king 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 let me repeat. We serve a great king. We serve a great king. Your God is a great king. He's eternal. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus also came on the earth as a king. Amen. Amina. In Matthew 2 2, the wise men said, Where is he that has been born king of the Jews? For so we have seen his star and have come to worship him. Where is he that has been born king of the Jews? Jesus came as a king. Praise the Lord. Amina. In Luke 23 verse 3. Muluka abiri musatu satu. Pilate asked Jesus. Pilato nabuza Yesu. Are you the king of the Jews? Yegwe kabaka waba yudaya. Jesus replied. Yesu na mwanukula. You have said it. Chocho gede bulunji. Just listen to that reply. Uliri ze nyanukula ngeyo. It is a kingly reply. Nyanukula ya wakabaka. Are you the king of the Jews? Yegwe kabaka waba yudaya. Yes, yes, yes. No. You have said it. <laughs> you have said it. He's a king. And so when God creates you and I, the Bible says he made us in his own image and likeness. To have his nature. Today we looked at some scripture in 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 first peter i think first peter twalabye chawa ndikwa mo petere chisoka papa paul was it first peter second peter petere chokubiri chapter 1 verse 4 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 4 When God made us He made us in his image and likeness That means he gave us that kingly nature Kingly nature Because he's a king He also made us to be king Right from the beginning God he made you and I to be kings. The Bible says whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. That word partakers of the divine nature. The Greek means koinoinos. Amen. Amen. It means divine associates. Divine associates. Amen. Amen. In fact, the right rendering means partakers of the God kind. The word divine nature is God kind. 
mankind the way you have mankind so you are part of the God kind you portray that kingly nature why? because God wants you to have dominion he says let them have dominion look at why God made man he says let us make man in our image according to our likeness this is the reason this is the whole reason let them have dominion let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over the cattle over all the earth. Let them have dominion. Let them have dominion. Why? Because God also has dominion. He cannot give you what he does not have. Praise the Lord. If God says have dominion, it's because he has dominion. So he makes you and by privilege and honor makes you a partaker of his divine nature. Meaning the same way he is a king you are also wired and made to be a king. Did you know that? That you are a king? Did you enter the house of God as a king? In Swahili we say or oh, you entered as maskini ya mungu. Is it? Amina. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We enter church with our heads low. Because of burdens. Problems. Because there's a certain witch who cast you who cast your children and now you are entering the house of God like maskini you are entering fearful you are entering intimidated yet in heaven the Lord and all the heavenly host know that Collins is a king Pastor Taka is a king Rhoda is a king Apostle Paul is a king. Mama Wanaswa is a king. You and I are kings. The heavens recognize you as a partaker of God's divine nature. The heavens recognize you as one who shares in royalty. The heaven identifies you as a king that on the earth you are looking defeated. On the earth it's like you fear on the earth you are intimidated but today God wants to change that. Today God wants to change that because we are in a season where we need to exert dominion. We are in a season where our authority as the body of Christ where our authority needs to be felt we are in a season where the Lord is about to lift the mountain of the house of the Lord above every mountain the mountain of the house of God shall be exalted shall be exalted in the last days and you are that mountain you are that mountain you are that mountain you are not defeated. You are not defeated. You are a king. Says partakers of his divine nature. When Jesus came, he came to do something very important. He came to restore us into that kingly position. Why? Because in the garden Adam and Eve did a very very big mistake when they ate the fruit physically they must have felt satisfied but spiritually there was a shift there was an exchange 
Hallelujah. Amina. So Jesus is coming as a king on the earth to correct an error. Because when he created Adam, he made him to be a king. And every every offspring that you will bear was meant to walk in that kingly nature. But when Adam sinned, he erred. And then everybody else had sin in him. And so Jesus is coming. The Bible says he's the second Adam. The main reason he's coming is to correct what Adam did. The error that he did. Praise the Lord. As I was working in LG Electronics, by the grace of God and of course by the privilege of working there when they release a new machine especially us who are working in mobile phone department we know about it six months before because I was a mobile phone technician you don't want somebody to come with a phone which you have never seen for you to fix. So they will bring it six months before. We would use it. It will be what is called a prototype. But by the time even they give us that one, there is one which a specialist is given and they will try it under all conditions before even they give the technicians this person will try this phone so for you you think it will be released in August but, but in December last year they already had it they will test it under every condition when it passed the test then they will roll out many praise the Lord that is what we say what, what we call a prototype if it had an error they may not even announce the day that they are releasing the phone they will go back to the factory and work on it before they produce many. Praise the, the Lord. Amen. So when God creates Adam, Adam is a prototype. Adam is sample. And God wants from Adam many, many kings to come. He told them be fruitful and multiply. Then in this first Adam that God created gave him the dominion mandate to subdue to conquer when the test came he erred and there was a fault in him meaning it's this massive production every other one coming from Adam will have a fault instead of dominating over sin, sin will dominate over them so Jesus is coming as the second Adam he is coming to dominate over what dominated Adam he is coming to rule he is coming to subdue so that when he dies on the cross the Bible says he was obedient till death but the first Adam was disobedient meaning when he rose from that grave the heaven said tick this one is he's, he's the, the Bible calls him the firstborn among the dead he means he was a successful project therefore anybody who gets born again they get the nature of the second Adam the nature of dominion the nature of dominion what dominated the first Adam what dominated the first Adam can never dominate you if any man is in Christ 
Christ. He is a new creation. He is a new creation. Everybody say I'm a new creation. I'm a new creation. I'm a new creation. Watch this now. Revelation chapter 1. Verse 5 to 6. Revelation chapter 1. Verse 5 to 6. The Bible says. Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 to 6. And from Jesus Christ. Who is the faithful witness. And the first begotten of the dead. The first begotten of the dead. Remember before Jesus died. He was the only begotten son. But after he dies. The Bible refers him. As the first begotten. As a logician. Praise the Lord. If he says the firstborn of the dead, it means there are others. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And everybody else who comes after Jesus has the kingly nature. Has the kingly nature. Has the dominion nature. Has authority. Has power. When you get born again, it comes as a default setting. As a default setting, become fully packed with power. Fully packed with authority. You come as a king. He says, firstborn of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth. Who are those kings of the earth? It is you and I. He's the prince of the kings of the earth. And to him that loved us. And washed us from our sins in his own blood. Verse 6. And has made us kings and priests unto God and his father. Not to fool and has made us kings and priests unto God and his father. The Bible does not say that he will make us. It's not a promise. This is where we call statement of fact. He has made us through redemption. He has made us. Not he will make us. He has made us. At Yes. I thought food is dead. At food day. <laughs> and, has, <laughs> and has made us kings and priests unto God. I'll ask my wife when you get home what all this is. And has made us kings and priests. You see, the power of scripture is in repetition. Don't rush. Read, read and understand. Where are you running? And has made us kings and priests unto God and his father to him because you want to finish 20 chapters a day. And, and to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. And verse 7. No. <laughs> You'll miss out. And has made us. Not he will. He has made us. So your current status. You are a king and a priest. <laughs> 
and your kingship is better than King Charles' kingship. Let me repeat. Your kingship is higher and better than King Charles' kingship. Or Kabaka wa Buganda. Simanyi elinya e na e. Simanyi. Saba saja kabaka muenda. Mutebi. Mutebi. Your kingship <laughs> this is the honor God has given us. I call this the gathering of kings. Hallelujah. Amen. The gathering of kings. Can you give your neighbor a high five? Tell them, hey, king, you're looking good today. The gathering of kings. Do you know what that means? My friend Ivan, it means when you are walking, there is a host of angels with you. Because a king is walking. When you enter a certain territory, demons are aware that a king is walking. A king has entered the territory. He has come to rule. He has come to dominate. When you come, you come under the kingly anointing. He has made you a king. He has made you a priest. Not he will make you. He has made you. He has made you. Right now you are a king. You are a king over your family. You are a king in Kampala. You are a king in that business. You are a king at your workplace. You are a king. You are not a beggar. You are not a slave. He has made you a king. Only God. You are a king When you enter the church Enter as a king Sit majestically as a king Because your father is a king Praise the Lord Hallelujah Hallelujah You're different You're different Jesus did a lot of us, uh, yes. a lot of things for us. Yes, One of the things he did on that cross, it was a cross of exchange. He made us through his blood. He made us kings. That which was lost in the garden. That is what he restored. The meaning of the word restore is taking back to its original state. Amina. Taking back to its original state. When he shed his blood, there was an exchange. That which was lost He restored it to us He said I made you as kings I made you as kings I'm restoring this to you Now when you are born again You enter kingship You become a partaker Of his kingly nature You are not a beggar The heavens Call you King Collins King Kato King Roda King Nalongo Wabalenzi King Mami Wanaswa King Nalongo Kamia That is what the records in heaven read Because he has made you a king I know somebody is asking why Why has he made me a king For what let me give you some roles of kings. Number one. Okusoka. Number one. Thank you, fellow king. God bless you. She has come silently as a king. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord answer your prayers. Roles of a king. Number one. Kings dominate. Bafuga. Bafuga. They dominate. <laughs> Domination with no apology. Bafuga. Ngateva so sekweto. Nera montu yena. Kings dominate. Kabaka afuga. 
kings dominate bakarakara fuga kings dominate bakarakara fuga kings dominate nande bakaraka bafuga hey, you are meant to dominate watende bakufuga you it is it is wired in your dna chimo musai gona mutafali wabula you don't have to act it Taina kusaka kwefu la wefu si. I'm made to dominate. Watende wakufuga. Let them have dominion. Leka babena wabufuzi. God was conferring it to them. Katonda yaliacho gera kubo. Baptizing them in dominion. Na babatiza mufuzi. Let them have dominion. Leka babena wabufuzi. When you get born again. Kwaolokoka. You don't just come out born again. Kwa yango limulo kwa lesha. Come out as a king. Na yo va yango kana ka. Inside your DNA. Dominion is parambulating every system. Parambulation. Everything inside you. Dominion. 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 You come out to dominate. You don't come out to be intimidated. You come out to dominate. When you are born again, you are coming as a king. You are coming to dominate. That's why the devil will try his best to make the both the people not to get born again because he knows when they see the light when they get born again they become a new creation but not just a new creation they become kingly they enter a territory they come to dominate they enter a territory they come to take it they enter a territory they come to rule over that place Dominion. Bufuzi. <laughs> Dominion. Bufuzi. Dominion. Bufuzi. You need to begin to change your mind. Oh, you know, the Bible will give you what we call the mentality Bible. of the righteous. The mentality of the righteous. Praise the Lord. I remember before I got born again. I used to have nightmares. Nalota ngebiloto byentisa. Biloto ebyentisa. Gando gotano kamala. Those things tortured me for long. When I got born again, they continue to come. Yeyongera It was so real, I could not even sleep for five minutes. Things would come and really torment me. One day, I'm listening to a sermon by my pastor in Kenya. And he talked about the power in the name of Jesus. And he, he was talking about our authority. The authority and the power we have in the name of Jesus. Just by knowing just by knowing the power that I have in the name of Jesus I walked out of there and I was ready for war at night I said today every foul wicked spirit that has denied me sleep I'm going to scatter Sakanya nya 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 Skata Praise the Lord Amina I could not wait for the night Nesunge chiro kuja I entered my room Nenyingira mu room yange Close the lights Nenzija kama tara Close my eyes Nenzibiriza na maso When I opened my eyes When I could amaso gange It was morning Wali bukede First time I slept like a baby <laughs> No, I did not even fight. The battle was won through knowledge. Some of you are coming out of here victorious already. By the fact that you know you are a king. Already some things are broken off. The Bible says you will know the truth. And the truth will make you free. The truth will make you free. By the mere fact that you know you are a king. Wherever you are going. You are possessed. 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 You are
possessing wherever you are going you are dominating everything that has dominated over your family over your life is breaking up is breaking up is breaking up by the mere fact that you have encountered knowledge you will know the truth and the truth will set you free you are bound because you don't know once you know no need of fight knowledge is power you can never rise above what you know amen 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 Kings dominate. Number two. Kings wage war. They wage war. Kings wage war. Kings wage war. Kings wage war. Second Samuel 11 verse 1. The Bible says at the time when kings went to battle. Let's not go all the other way. Let's just maintain at the time when the kings went to battle. What is the lesson there? There is a time when all kings were expected to report to war. The Bible says, for we wrestle present continuous. We wrestle. Amen. Praise the Lord. As long as you are a king, warfare should be part of you. Warfare should be part of you. There's a time I was praying with a certain lady. And we had prayed for like six months over a certain issue. And things were not changing. The next day, Again, I said, let's pray. Let's scatter. Let's destroy. She was not praying. I said, ah, uh -uh. why aren't you praying? She's a pastor. When will we stop? Every time we are fighting, every time we are scattering, I said, has that thing changed in your life? She said, no. Then the battle continues. A luta continua. Amina. It should be your nature. When, when you appear, and the devil sees you the devil has to run because whatever will come out of your mouth can scatter the devil everywhere they don't know when you come the Bible says the born again is like wind. You don't know when he's coming, where he's going. You don't know. He may just appear. Scatter everything. The devil cannot predict you. He does not know when you release the next bomb. Warfare nature. Warfare nature. Taking no for an answer. Paul told Timothy fight the good fight of faith lay hold of eternal life that word lay hold it means lambano from you he cannot take your children will not grow rebellious your children will not grow wayward they will not lose their mind and become and, and come before you and say mommy I think I was created to be a boy that foolishness will not come in your house your children will not come and say mommy I think I'm a girl no you need to lay hold meeting warfare should be your nature you pray for your children will you ever get a phone call that mommy I want to be this I, I want I, I, I feel like I'm gay I feel like I'm a lesbian when I see a fellow man your, your son when he sees a fellow man he's a half-grown how does he know 
does he even know what for fellow man? The devil is a liar. As long as you are a king, enough is enough. We need to rise as the body of Christ. Which war? Which war? Against the kingdom of darkness. When I made a decree. It shall not happen. As you can see, the legs are working very, very well. Hallelujah. Amen. My children will never be lame. It is a declaration. A kingly declaration. I declare. You will not die. You will live. Your children will not die. In the name of Jesus. Sickness will not kill you. You will not be among the number. Of those who die in sicknesses. And diseases. In the name of Jesus. The words of a king are final. Final. That is a decree. You make it in boldness. Boldness. You stand as a husband. And you say, Enough is enough. As the husband and the king over this house, I declare enough of the devil's shenanigans. This thing has to stop. This nonsense has to stop. More going further. It is a kingly decree. It is a kingly decree. I want us to make a kingly decree. As Kawempe Worship Center. Over Kawempe. A kingly decree. That the glory of the Lord. Will cover Kawempe. As the waters cover the sea. I want us to make a kingly decree. As Kawempe Worship Center. That weak Wickedness will not prevail. Idolatry will not prevail. Witchcraft will not prevail. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to make a king We are making it as the body of Christ. We want to declare upon the word. The Bible says. The word of a king is final. As we declare. Angels will publish. Our decree. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. That the glory of God. Will cover Kawempe as the waters cover the sea. Begin to declare righteousness will prevail. Righteousness will prevail. Righteousness will prevail. Will prevail. The powers of darkness will not prevail. Over Kawempe, come on, somebody, make a kingly decree. Over Kawempe, make a kingly decree. Make a kingly decree. Kingly decree. Maybe you are watching us. Make a kingly decree over where you are coming from. Make a kingly decree. Maybe you are in the UK. Maybe you are in the US. Wherever you are, make a kingly decree. Make a kingly decree. Do not shoot less arrows. Make a kingly decree. Make a kingly decree. Make a kingly decree. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Declare. Souls will be born again. Souls will be born again. In Kawempe. Souls will be born again. Massive revival. Massive revival. Massive revival. We declare. Massive revival. Massive revival. Massive revival in Kawempe. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now make a kingly decree over your family. Make a kingly decree in your marriage. It will not end up in divorce. It will not end up in divorce. Make a kingly decree. Your husband will be born again. Your wife will be born again. Your children will serve the Lord. They have no choice. They have no choice. A decree has been made. A decree has been made. Our children will not be rebellious. Our children will not go wayward. Our children will not die. Will not die prematurely. Make a kingly decree. Make a kingly decree. Our children will serve the Lord. They will serve the Lord. They will 
will serve the Lord. They will serve all the days of their lives. All the days of their lives. All the days of their lives. Somebody make a kingly decree over your family. Make a kingly decree in your marriage. Make a kingly decree over your workplace. Over your business. Over Kampala. Somebody pray. Make a kingly decree. Let it be published in the heavens. Let it be published. Let it be published. Angels are publishers of the word of God. Angels are publishers. As you are making decrees, do not stop. Continue. As you are making decrees, angels are publishing. They are publishing. Whatever you are saying, breaking news, breaking news in the heavens, angels are publishing, breaking news. A decree has been made from Kawempe Worship Center by fellow kings. A decree has been made. A decree has been made. A decree has been made. Has been made. Has been made. As you are declaring in the heavens, it's being published in the name of Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Yes, so Mukubi Rengalo. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4. We are closing. We are closing in prayer so you can remain standing. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4. Are we there? The Bible says. Bible where the word of a king is there is power did you see that where the word of a king is there is power and I've told you heaven recognizes you as a king when you speak your words are backed with power. You need to walk knowing that. You don't have to shake to feel power. You don't have to roll to feel power. We walk by faith, not by sight. You need to know in your knower. Praise the Lord. Amen. That when I speak, my words are backed up with the power backed up with the power backed up with the power and it says and who may say unto him what doest thou who may say unto him what is that demon that may ask you? What is that witch that may ask you? What is that problem that may ask you? That why are you declaring? What are you doing? It says where the words of the king is. There is power. There is power. There is power. Power. And who may say unto him, What doest thou? Jesus he used to walk in power. There's a time he went in a place called the Gadarenes. Gadarenes. A city called Gadarenes or Gadara. When he got there, there was a man who was tormented by a legion of angels. But the Bible says, when he saw Jesus, the Bible says, the demons said, what do we have to do with you? What do we have to do with you? They were already apologizing and repenting. Because when Jesus enters a territory, the Bible says, no man could pass to the gatherings. No man could pass by that way. No man could pass by that way. That territory had been captured by 
legions of demons but when Jesus came he's coming as a king the king of kings the earth is the Lord and all is fullness and they that dwell there either, as Jesus came into that city where no man could not pass Jesus passed there the demons gave way because he's the king he came to conquer he came to take over that territory hallelujah 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 sickness cannot prevail in your family cancer cannot prevail it is your territory your family is your domain your family is your domain the throne is one you cannot sit with two one has to sit another one has to vacate sickness has to vacate sickness has to vacate sickness have to vacate in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus where the word is of the king is where the word 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 of the king is in your bloodline begin to overthrow them begin to overthrow them begin to overthrow them every evil god who sat in the throne of your family begin to vacate them may they vacate may they vacate that throne belongs to you child of God that throne does not belong to the spirit of death that throne does not belong to the spirit of death of poverty that throne does not belong to the spirit of divorce that throne belongs to you that throne in your family belongs to you belongs to you as a king begin to overthrow begin to overthrow every wicked every wicked every wicked every wicked every wicked every wicked devil that has sat on the throne of your family your bloodline your family your bloodline your family your bloodline a new rule is coming a new rule is coming a new reign is coming a new reign is coming righteousness will prevail righteousness will prevail righteousness will prevail salvation will come in your family salvation will come in your family let righteousness prevail let healing be your portion in the name of Jesus let deliverance be your portion in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus is somebody praying is somebody praying come on pray 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 you are a king wage war wage war wage war take over that territory whatever the devil stole whatever territory in your family whatever territory at your workplace whatever territory you are there for such a time as this you are there to rule you are there to subdue you are there to subdue the bible says through faith they subdued kingdoms through faith they subdued kingdoms through faith they shut the mouth of lions through faith they subdued kingdoms they subdued they subdued begin to subdue every kingdom every kingdom of darkness that has reigned in your family begin to subdue begin to subdue begin to subdue Every kingdom, every kingdom of darkness, every kingdom of darkness that has covered your family, covered our nation, covered the city, begin to subdue by faith. They subdued kingdoms. They shut the mouth of lions. Continue to pray. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Don't be quiet. Pray, pray, pray. Everything that has subdued you, everything that took dominion over your life and family. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, lift up your voices. Lift up your voices. Stop praying like weak people. There are things that God has called you to do. There are areas that the Lord has called you into dominion. Begin to speak into those areas. As someone that has dominion, begin to speak into those areas. I want to hear the sound of people praying. Masharokana mase karababa raseda karana mase karababa rosa karadaba sakaya resande mase rakada rosa kane mase lala rosa kane mase karada rose kerede basa karababa. Come on, church, lift up your voices. The Lord has called you into places of dominion. Begin to decree into those places. Begin to speak into those places. Begin to declare over those places. Rosandara <laughs> In the name of Jesus, Rose Karababa Sakaya, Rosara Nama Sekara, Roshi Karababa Baba, decree, 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 declare, 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 into your place of dominion, into your place of calling, Rose Kere Sakaya, Masero Karababa Baba, speak to the mountain, speak to the mountain, speak to the mountain, for the Bible says, the Rubabel. You shall speak to the mountain. You shall cry to it, Grace, Grace, Grace. Speak to the mountain. Speak to the mountain. That area of influence that the Lord has called you to. That place of dominion where the Lord has called you to. Raza Karaba Sekarara Masero Shekade Rosara Kadababa. Hear the word of the Lord. Sandra Sekarara Masero Sakalababa Resanda Rakaya Masoro Dakaye Roshi Karababa Razanda. The will of the Lord shall be done. You shall not withhold anymore. Mashe Karababa, Rasara Karababa, Roshe Karababa, Zerosha Kandemaka, Mashe Karababa, for the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow down and every tongue shall confess that He is Lord. Zerose Kaya, Mashe Rosaka, Resa Karababa, Zerosha Kandea, Mashe Rosa Karababa, you come against us with your swords and shields, but we come against against you in the name of Yahweh God of Israel come on church pray come on church pray use the next few minutes pray speak into your space of influence for you're a king speak as a king speak as one with authority speak as one with authority don't speak as a weak person speak as one with authority Rodakaya, zero sekereba, zara karabasa, rosha ne masekaya, masekerebaba. I speak to your mountain. Hear the voice of the Lord. I speak to your mountain. Hear the decree of the Lord. I speak to your mountain. Hear the word of the Lord. So rosakaya, mashe rosekare, rashe karana, masa roshekaya, rosara kaya mama, rosekara ne masekaya. Zero Rakaya Baba, Reshara 
the way some of you people pray you pray as though you are people who have no callings on your life you pray as a people who the Lord hasn't called into spaces the reason why some of you pray the way you pray because you think it is you to do these things and yet yours is to speak do not spare in the name of Jesus 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 I have never seen an officer of the law. An officer of the law. Please translate. Who goes on to an assignment under a presidential directive that behaves as if they have no power. Even if they are a small little man or woman, they don't even have to shout, but if they give a directive, everything within that space will have to kick in to execute that directive. Some of you speak as if it is you who is going to execute this battle. Your work is simple decree. Declare. Speak into that space. And let me also say this. If the Lord has called you to do something and you fear to step out and put your feet in the Jordan, you will never know what it means for the Lord to work. Because you're looking at the Jordan and it's swelling. And the waters are moving very fast. And you're wondering how can I even step into this water here. But the Lord has said step in. Because the moment you step into those waters. You'll be amazed at what the Lord can do. Because it is not you. And you have not sent yourself. You have not decreed yourself. So after you have spoken as a king, I am challenging you. There are people who the Lord has called to do things. And he has called you to step out. But you're still outside the Jordan. There are people and they're here. You call and the authority, the government is seated on your shoulders. Not government here, Uganda. Not the seven. government of Uganda. I am talking about the government of heaven. 
But you should be stepping out and you, you're looking at the weather, you're reading the weather and it's just not opportune for you to step out. I want to challenge you now. And the people I'm speaking to, you're here. And one of them is you, Kato. I don't know what the Lord has told you to do. I don't know what he has told you to do. But you're reading the weather, you're reading the weather, the weather is is not proper, it is not opportune. It's time to step out. It's time to step out. He's simply representing many people. I mentioned him because it was very specific. So as we are in this season of decreeing the word of a king, it's also a season of stepping out. Child of God, we're in a season of miracles, signs, and wonders. But if you don't step out into where God has told you to step out, you'll never see the waters of the Jordan being held. I am not talking about presumption. Please don't step out if the Lord has, hasn't told you to step out. Those who should be stepping out, they know. They know that it is season. But they have feared. But let me read you one verse before we close. Isaiah 43, 1 says, But now that says the Lord that created you, He that formed you, Fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. The Lord who has called you is not reckless. He is not careless to send you out and then abandon you to be destroyed. But if you're going to see miracles, signs, and wonders, you don't have to believe that there is something different about you. That when you step out, that, that earth is going to hear you. We're closing. I just want to quickly pray for such people. Just quickly run here in a minute we pray and we'll close. I'm, a, I'm speaking to those kinds of people. Just quickly run to the front. Quickly, 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 quickly because I want us to be done. Church, just stretch forth your hands and let's bless these people. Father, I thank you for these people and the callings on their lives. I pray for them, Lord. Let there be a shift in the atmospheres around them. I pray that remember mercy for the time wasted. But I pray, quicken their feet. The way you quickened Moses. Transform them. The way you transformed Moses. That as they step out of here this day, they will not be the same people ever again. And let them see you work in miracle signs and wonders in their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Anyone here who says today, I want to give my life to Jesus, want to pray for you before we leave. You're not born again, but you're saying today, I want to give my life to Jesus. Anyone out there? Oh, you are already saved. Anyone? Anyone? All right, fine. There is no one today. Come on, lift up your hands. Father, I bless your people. As we step out, we receive the word that has been spoken here today fully. For the entrance of your word, it brings light. Let there be abundance of light in our lives to light our footsteps as we move forward. I decree a beginning of a week that is a week among many weeks ahead 
head of your people of seeing you as a faithful God answers us with miracle signs and wonders and does amazing things in our lives. I decree an opening of a season of victories in the lives of your people. A season of seeing you by your right hand and by your left hand. A season of knowing you as God that answers prayer. I bless them in Jesus name may the Lord shine upon you with his countenance and may he cause his shalom to be upon you in Jesus name amen and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever amen amen